The music of Ark Survival Evolved is iconic. One of the game's true standout elements, that not only captures each moment and scene within a woven story of strings, but captivates and distinguishes Ark in a media that truly sets the bar for tone. All are composed by the BAFTA-nominated Gareth Coker, unsurprisingly winning awards for his work and will continue his scores with the Vin Diesel fronting sequel and animated series. But what are your favourite ARC soundtracks? You're right kids, it's Ras Clark and welcome to another top 10 as voted by you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. So in at number 10 is the Corrupted Master Controller. Punching straight into an electric heightened beat of synthwave epicness, and rightly so, facing a giant laser beam shooting virtual head. The tension kicks in right away, orchestrating the strict time limit, waves of death approaching in a last stand of Genesis Part 1. Certainly one of the more pacier tracks in the game, it rightly should be, forcing you to run as quick as your little survivor legs can carry you. In at number 9, Molten Element Aberrance. Hitting with a sinking beat gradually rising against a synth of dark heat, ignited of course by engaging in battle with creatures within the Molten Element zone, throwing in temperamental strings against a dramatic keyed piece, picking up the brass as the battle and music continues, heightening the element of danger surrounding you in quite frankly one of the most hostile environments in Ark, where the very air you breathe is poisoning. And as the score continues, it certainly hammers home a need to escape as the tone deepens the longer you stay. In at number 8, Journey's End. Possibly my favourite piece, there's a pure element of beauty and sadness delivered here, hinting at the iconic original score, but broken down to chimes and echoes symbolic of how far we've come from the island, and conveniently tells the story, the journey of years surviving Ark to be left in the infinite void following the series' conclusion. And then the string of sadness kicks in, realising it's all been left behind, momentarily. As everything dials up to 100, morphing that regret into achievement, only to be reminded once again, we'll be waiting, suspended, until the sequel. In at number 7, The Overseer. An ear-piercing punch of vocal drumming suspense, throwing every instrument into the air as our first alien encounter is unveiled, very quickly thrown down into a flurry of madness, stringing along a need for speed under a time limit facing against an epic curtain unveiling entity, levitating between you and what lies beyond. With a very slight electric nod to your primitive beginning, it's all but drowned out as pressure is delivered in this epic transformative piece. In at number 6, Extinction Ending. What was meant to be the original ending to our journey once upon a time is captured as such with an overwhelming feeling of hope in succeeding Ark's first half, bringing together a harmony of strings and beats, rising with the realisation of completion, concluding into a love letter back to our main theme, switched in pitch and tone to symbolise we've attained our final ascension, finally becoming one with our protagonists and the homo deus beings we've been attempting to understand all this time. In a number 5, Genesis Part 2 main theme. An evolution from the original theme, pulsating space synth waves, launching us into hyperspace with an epic punch of sound, travelling to find our new home, and all the while offering a slight ambient string about it, possibly nodding to Rockwell hidden within our last adventure. It draws a clear feeling of ever searching travel in time and space, in Arc 1's final story. In at number 4, Fear Evolved. The only event based theme to make the list of which all deserve their praise, moulding the original score around holidays, wrapped into a warming nod from both. Fittingly, and perhaps influenced by this time of year, Fear Evolved introduces seemingly every Halloween sound effect you've ever heard, and each wonderfully woven in, easily resembling exactly what time it is, as shrieks, sharp drums and string notes against a banjo hitting melody of zombies, skeletons and ghouls. In at number 3, King Titan. Certainly the most epic score on this list, and rightly so considering the scene it surrounds. Against an enormous beast that dwarves almost everything in Ark, 
realising the preceding minutes will be stacked against you. Vocally led, every instrument is brought off the ground to eye level as we face this corrupted titan, possessing attacks that could certainly seal your fate in one swipe. Later on, as we reach the near conclusion and an end is in sight, everything shifts to an even taller tempo of stakes. Hitting home a win is close, but not before you must deal the final blow to a somewhat praised kaiju of Earth as they know it. In at number 2, the main theme. Sending goosebumps down any fan's backs, the iconic original composition takes us on the initial journey awaiting, ominous chords backed by harmonious allusion to a world needing exploration, picked up to a beat and ever growing strings as the world we explore opens up to unveil ever more adventure and life, heightening and grouping more instruments as even more is uncovered thrown into a crash as we finally learn of the logo unveiling this phenomenal sandbox survival game. And before we get to number one, let's just have a quick special mention to the same tracks that didn't just make the cut. And here it is in a number one aberration main theme. A completely alien transformation, echoing the theme we've known but delivered with an introduction of isolation. One voice casted into a very different arc that delivers heavy drums of death and challenge awaiting. Unveiled as we learn more, the dangers brought to a brass surface, ever watching on this frankly punishing world, pulled in together with everything we've learned so far to the soundtrack you voted as your most favourite one of all time. And there we go. I'll leave links to all of these in the description, which I do encourage you to go and download. Gareth Coker is by far an asset to Ark and Wildcard, deserving of every bit of praise and support he can get. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, comment below, let me know. What more top 10s would you like to see in future? My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, peace out.